What's up guys, Danke Memes here, and we are here with a week 5 APA Season 2 Wi-Fi battle against uh, Automatic and the Nige Mega Nuzleafs. I think I said that right, not sure, could be wrong. Um, anyway, we are currently having a tough season. Um, we are 1-3, and three. Auto is 3-1. and one. So he is having a good season, we are not. Um, so we really need to win this to kind of bounce back, but it will be tough. Um, the team that I, th that I think he's going to bring is on the screen. Um, I think he's going to bring the Jirachi, the Blissey, the Latios, the Mega Pidgeot. That is a Mega Pidgeot. I couldn't get the sprite for it. Uh, the Gramble and the Mandibuzz. And we are spot on. We are spot on. Um, so, I can see him... I can see him leading the Blissey. So, I'm just going to lead Banzai. I can see him leading the Blissey to get rocks up. So, I'm happy to lead the Banzai. Um... And just get some chip damage off. Um, we're going to jump straight into here, into this match. Uh, good luck to you, Auto. Um, we need to win much more than you do. So, uh, fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, I'm not writing anything down. I have his mons on the screen, so that's fine. Let's get... Put the... Oh, God. Oh, my desk is so cluttered. It's so cluttered. Uh, he does lead the Blissey, which is nice. Um... We kind of expected it, it expected that. Um, anyway, right. So how do we actually how do we play this? Um, if we run some calcs, um, our Marowak, Alola, Banzai against the Blissey. Level fifty. Um. A Flare Blitz hurts. I'm kind of happy to just... I'm tempted to go for a Flame Charge. I'm tempted to go for a Flame Charge. I'm going to go for a Flame Charge. And we can... After we Flame Charge, we'll get a plus one speed. And then we will be at... 1.5 times 196, which is enough... To, I think we crept something. We crept something. Um, I think we did enough to creep... What's the bird? That's the mad buzz. Well, that did quite a lot. That did quite a lot. You know. I don't know if that's physically defensive or not. Because that didn't that did quite a lot. Twenty three to twenty seven, that's about right, to be fair. Um, if he hits us with a foul play, he kills us. Hmm. Yeah, and I don't want to risk this. I don't want to risk this too early. Um. I think, how much does the foul play do to Electros? 30 to 36. That's actually quite a lot. What about Nido King? Even more. Damn. Um, okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm gonna go to Electros. Uh, and hopefully take this foul play quite well. If he does go for it, yeah, he does go for it. So that's absolutely fine. Did quite a lot. Did about probably about thirty percent, I'd say. Probably about thirty percent. Um. So basically. This does not want to take whatever I want to give it. Um, so the question is, do I go for a Volt Switch or do I go for a Discharge? To try and get a power off on either... I, I predict him to go out... He'll probably go out to the Blissey. He'll probably go out to the Blissey, so I may as well just Volt Switch. There's no point getting a power on the Blissey. Yeah, there's the Blissey. And we can just go straight back out to a load of Marowak. We can just go straight back out to a load of Marowak. Now. Now. Does he go straight back into Mandibuzz again? I think he does. So. I'm just going to go for a Thunder Punch. I'm going to go for a Thunder Punch predicting that. I'm going to go for a Thunder Punch predicting that. 
Um, but as whilst Mandibuzz does outspeed us, it does get him down, and we can just we get a free switch in as he probably roots up on the next turn. So it does withdraw. Goes back out into the Mandibuzz. So let's let's hope for something nice here. Let's hope for some big damage. That's decent. That's decent. So he is now below 50. So he probably roosts up this turn. He probably roosts up this turn. But again, we can just go straight back out to the Electros. Or... Hmm. Yeah, we go out to, we go out to Electros. We go out to Electros. Um, we don't want to get let Electros get too low, is what I was thinking. But I'm certain he roosts here. There's no reason for him not to roost. Because he, he must know that he outspeeds me. Because I have... Oh, actually, wait. Does he out... Or do I outspeed him? Did I creep him? <laughs> um, what's this thing called? Marowak. I crept this thing as well. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. That's, that'd be stupid. That'd be stupid. I have nine. I got really confused with my EVs between the EVs and the uh, the actual stat itself. Um, so yeah, I switch out. Um, obviously, as he probably just goes for a roost. He goes for another foul play. Predicting me to stay in. I don't know why. But his his Mandibuzz is now low, which is nice because he now doesn't take. He's gonna find it tough to switch in on anything. Um, he probably again just goes out to Blissey, so I'm just gonna Volt Switch. I'm just gonna Volt Switch because it it would do enough to take out the burb, the bird. Here's a roost. Okay. Okay, fair enough. He knows he outspeeds me, so that's fair enough. Um, now, I think I can just go up to Mill Tank here. A foul play doesn't do that much at all. Um, an ice punch doesn't do anything, but I can get off a free, th free thunder wave, or I can get my rocks up. I'm quite happy to get my rocks up. Thing is, he probably goes out to. Bl mm, I don't know. No, I don't think he does go out to Blissey. Possible Jirachi here. So I'd be really tempted to Thunder Wave. That's actually what I'm going to do. I'm going to Thunder Wave. Because I can't see him switching Blissey in. Does, go does switch Blissey in. Just wanting to get his rocks up, I guess. Um. Now, the big balls in me, right? The big balls in me wants me to go out to Cloyster right now. Let's just calc against the Jirachi, right? Let's just calc against the Jirachi. What Cloyster does. A plus two. And the Icicle Spear actually does nothing. Icicle Spear does 50%. Um, but an Iron Head does nothing to me either. You know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the Bulls. I'm going to have the Bulls right now. And I'm going to go for this 6-0. Toxic. That's fine. That's fine. I'm going to Shell Smash. I'm going to Shell Smash. If he's smart, he goes he goes Gramble and gets the defense drop. Uh, gets the attack drop. 
Oh shit, I didn't even think about that. Make a wish. He should have gone Gramble. He really should have gone Gramble. Because I, then I would, would have only been at plus one. And I would have no white herb. Now, I can just go for two Icicle Spears here. Oh, you know what? Actually, if he's phys if physically defensive, this does nothing. This 41%. I'm just going to go for it, to be honest. I'm just going to go for him. Um, and which course just got to try and get as many kills as possible. I'm curious to see the Jirachi set. If it is a physically defensive set, which I think it will be. That was a crit. <laughs> that was a crit. So it's not going to be enough for a two-hit KO. It's not going to be enough for a two-hit KO. Special Rachi, fair enough. Fair enough. Shit. Well, that's fine, because we now just go out to Bruce. We now just go out to Bruce. And... Honestly, I think we can Source Dance. Oh, but he probably goes Latias. He probably goes Latios. He probably goes Latios. He has so much... He either goes Latios or he goes Mandibuzz. I'm just going to go for a Stone Edge. Predicting one of the birds to come out. Courage. That's the Gramble. That is the Gramble. So he gets the attack drop, and so this Stone Edge is going to do nothing. Yep. Nice and nothing. <laughs> nice and nothing. Uh, so I'm really upset the Cloister. <laughs> Cloister has again done nothing. Again done nothing. And that's my fault entirely. I just completely didn't even think about Special Jirachi. Didn't even think about Special Jirachi. Um... Now, the question is, what's coming out here? Mm. He could go for the play rough. I just want to calc. See how, if Nidoking can come in here. No, an earthquake does way too much to risk it. But to be fair, to be fair, I think Earthquake would be a good play from him. I think Earthquake would be a good play from him. Because it hits my two switch-ins, really. I'm going to go out to Miltank, though. I'm going to go out to Miltank. Miltank should be able to handle. I sure as my Miltank has Poker Rust. <laughs> I sure as my Miltank has Poker Rust. Goes to the play rough. Goes to the play rough. So we could have switched in to um, Needle King, but uh, Miltank takes this absolutely fine. Um, and I am actually happy. I'm happy to just get my rocks up here. I'm happy to just get my rocks up. I was way too aggressive trying to bring Cloyster in, to be honest. I was way too aggressive. Um, but the way... You, you can see the way that Auto plays. He's got his dedicated answers. You know, he had his, that Jirachi set up especially for Cloyster. He has the Gramble set up especially for Garchomp. He has the Mandibuzz set up um, 
to kind of help deal with all my physical threats. Um, the Blissey does come in and we get our rocks up. So that's nice for us. That's nice for us. Part, I wish I had Toxic on Mill Tank rather than Thunder Wave. Um, but I'm happy to just bring Banzai in, even if he does want to Toxic me. Yep, that's fine. He hits it again. <laughs> we get no luck. <laughs> but, um... I kind of want to go for that flame charge now. I kind of want to go for that flame charge. And then... Let's see, actually, wait. I can look at his team, right? Can I see how much damage it has? No, I can't. Okay. So I have no idea how much damage the Mandibuzz has on it. I'm going to go Flame Charge into Thunder Punch. Because that should be enough to KO the Mandibuzz if it wants to come out. Because I'm sure it does come out to get rid of, try and get rid of these rocks. See what he wants to do here. We'll see what he wants to do. I he does withdraw. Gramble wouldn't be a bad play. Yeah. Oh uh, no, he goes into uh back out into the Jirachi to take the flame charge, which I don't don't know if it will. It does not take the flame charge, so uh Marowak in a good position here. Marowak in a good position here. Marowak kills the Jirachi. Marowak is now at plus one. So, 90. Ninety times 1.5 is 135. So, that doesn't actually outspeed the... Latio, so that's what he wants to go out to. It doesn't outspeed the Mega Pidgeot. Mm. A Draco would be enough to kill me. A Draco would be enough to kill me. What about Pidgeot? There's the Pidgeot. Um, a hurricane kills. A hurricane kills me. Uh, or is it a roll? I don't even know. I don't even know. But I think we can go out to Electros. Yeah, and a hurricane does nothing to Electros. Even if he U-turns, that's fine. Because we're getting more damage off. Um, if he has to switch in again. So we sit right, we lose our plus one, which is fine. If he goes for a U turn, then fair enough. Um, but I am okay with that. I am okay with that. But I predict him to just go for the, hur the hurricane. Yep, there's the hurricane. Should do 14 to 16%, which won't be enough to take us out. Um, I just need to get rid of the Jirachi. On his screen. Haha, -ha, by Jirachi. Um, and I think I just Volt Switch. I think that's the smart thing to do. Because if he stays in, Heat Wave. Oh, was enough to take me out. Was enough to take me out. Um, okay, so now can I go into Nido King? A hurricane hurts. Hurricane hurts. Can I go into Garchomp? I can go into Garchomp. I can go into Garchomp. So that's what I'm going to do, I think.
Now, he must know that he can't kill me. And he must be fearing the scarf. He must be fearing the scarf. I want to just scout, check the hidden power ice. Does 52% to me. So he might stay in thinking that he can actually KO me. So I'm going to go for the stone edge. No, he does withdraw. He does withdraw. But this is fine because I'm bluffing this scarf. I'm bluffing this scarf really, really well. So we get the, he gets the intimidate drop on us. Which again is absolutely fine. Ah, oh, but we missed the Stone Edge. Classic. Classic Stone Edge. Ah, <sighs> right. So we just switch out again. Because we're bluffing this scarf all, all day long. And we go back out to Mill Tank. We go back out to Mill Tank. Go see the Earthquake. So that's fine. Happy with that. Very, very happy with that. Because this does absolutely nothing again. Absolutely nothing. Um, I'm not even sure how he actually takes out Mill Tank. With uh, I'm guessing a Hurricane does a lot to Mill Tank. Yeah, two hit KOs. Um, so actually, we do need to keep this thing healthy. But I'm pretty happy to switch out predicting... I'm going to make that double. I'm going to make a double into Banzai. Predicting the Blissey to come out now. Predicting the Blissey to come out. If it goes for another EQ, then fair enough. It does withdraw. And goes out into the Blissey. Nice. Very, very good turn for us. Very, very good turn. Now, do I predict? Do I make a prediction? What does he go out to here? Honestly, I think he goes out to Latias, you know, predicting... Latios predicting me to go for a flame charge. That would be a very dangerous play because he needs he needs Latios. He needs Latios. That would be a very dangerous play. I I think he plays safe, you know. I think he plays safe. Uh, I've got forty five seconds to make this move so I'm gonna take those 45 seconds I'm gonna go up I'm gonna have a look at Gramble how well does it wall Alolan Marowak Banzai uh, at my, at minus one a Flare Blitz still does 56% which is kind of wild I'm gonna go for the Shadow Bone I've got 18 seconds hang on hang on I'm just gonna calc Mandibuzz I've got 12 seconds. Uh... No, you know what? I'm going flame charge. I'm going flame charge. That's the play. Who withdraws? Who's he go out to? Eon. He does go out to the fucking. Oh, I was so close to shadow burning, man. I was so close to shadow burning. I just realised Electros went down. I forgot to take him off. So close to Shadow Boning, man. I was so close to Shadow Boning. Now, an offensive Latio set. I, I fully believe that he is Choice Scarf. Purely because he, he seems convinced that my grout, my... Garchomp's Choice Scarf. Um, level 50. So I'm going to expect it to be Choice Scarf. Can I switch into Mill Tank? I can, and at the same time, I can't. <laughs> if he goes for a Draco, then I can. If he goes for a Draco, then I can't. If he goes for a Psy Shock, then I take it fine. 
So I'm just going to switch out. That's a smart thing to do. It goes to Shadow Ball, so it doesn't affect me. Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. Um, again, uh, also seems to be playing very... He plays very safe, which is absolutely fine, to be honest. It's absolutely fine. I... How well does Blissey take an Ice Punch? Honestly. That's 14%. And does Latios want to take an Ice Punch? <laughs> it does not want to take an Ice Punch. I'm going to go for an Ice Punch. He withdraws. The Blissey probably comes out. A bird. <gasps> he takes a bit of damage here, man. He takes a bit of damage. <laughs> that does nothing. Freeze? No. That does nothing. <laughs> That did absolutely nothing. Um, so he can roost or he can defog. He can roost or he can defog. Either way, I want to go into Roy. I want to go into Roy. He goes for a defog, which is absolutely fine. Um, absolutely fine. Because now, Roy threatens him. Um, where's our Nido King? Roy. Oh, what just happened? Where'd you go, Roy? Right, so uh, an Ice Beam takes it out, right? But I fully expect him to switch into Blissey, okay? I fully expect him to switch into Blissey. So I can actually go for Ice Beam and then into Superpower kills. Ice Beam into Superpower kills the Blissey. Uh, Ice Beam does 14 to 16 and then Superpower does 64 to 76. So I don't even know. I don't even know if it does kill. But I've gonna, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. That's if he's got. That's if he's maximally. That's if he's fully defensive, fully physically defensive. And that ice beam didn't do that much. I reckon he's fully special. In which case, a superpower would kill. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that kills. Oh, yeah, that kills. So that is a big, big problem dealt with. That is a big, big problem dealt with. Now, things he can switch into Latios. He can go into Latios here. Um, let's get rid of the Blissey on his on his screen, on, his, on my layout. We are 30 minutes into this battle. This is tense. This is very, very tense. But we are in a good position. We are in a good position. There he goes. That's a Latios. So he can just go for a Psy Shock. But I'm, I'm going to switch out. To mill tank. I'm gonna switch out to mill tank. Predicting the side shock. Does go for the side shock, which again is fine. Now, if he isn't scarf like I think he is, then I have to. Then I die to to a Draco. Um, I think the smart thing here is to. Just milk drink. And hope that I live. <laughs> and hope that I can still... Like, live it. And then obviously another one. If I can live and milk drink up, then another Draco wouldn't take me out. But I'm pretty sure he's scarfed. He's scarfed. He is 100% scarfed. And he goes out to the bird. So that's fine. We just milk drink up. 
Um, we just milk drink up right now. And to be honest, next turn he probably goes for a roost. He probably goes for a roost. But there is now nothing stopping me from going out to Nido King. Absolutely nothing. Other than... No, he definitely... He's got a roost here. He has to. He has to roost. So I'm just going to... I'm going to throw off Thunder Wave. We power... We land it, which is nice. Which, which is nice. He used roost. That's fine. That is fine. Because in actual fact, he does nothing to me. He does nothing to me. Um... And I'm just going to get these rocks up right now. If he wants to go out to the Mega Pidgeot, he can. He stays in. What's he going to go for? Foul play? Or Toxic, maybe? Taunt. So he's too slow for that. He's too slow to stop me from getting my rocks up. Um... So I do just have to go for an Ice Punch, but honestly, Ice Punch deals with a lot of his team, so I'm just going to go for it. Whatever wants, if, any, if he wants to try and switch in, I'm just going to go for the Ice Punch, to be honest. There's no reason for me not to. I could switch out and try and get some momentum, but this, this thing does nothing to me, so... Paralyze, there we go. We get the full power. We get the full power. <sighs> How many ice punches do we get? Last like twenty four, isn't it? It's like twenty four. Yeah, so we've got twenty two left. So I'm just gonna go for the ice punch. He stays in. He stays in. It's it's annoying that we can't get free. It's not annoying, but he goes for a foul play. So this shouldn't do too much to me. No, does absolutely nothing. In fact. Um, all I want to do is just get him down to enough that he feels like he has to go for a roost. Which maybe next turn he may wait until after. But I'm going to go for the Ice Punch now. And then I think the next turn I'll switch out to... To Nido King. And he goes for the roost now. Which is fair enough. Um... But again, I am happy to just stay in. Uh, my taunt should be over now. Is my taunt over now? Yeah, it is over. Um, so he's definitely not going to switch out this turn. So I, I'm just going to go for another Ice Punch, honestly. And it's going to be a little bit stooly, this. It's going to be a little bit stooly. But I'm fine with him getting the full power. I'm absolutely fine with that. Gonna go for another ice punch. No, I think the turn after this, I'm gonna switch out. Now goes to the taunt. I'm not sure why. I think he's gonna switch out. You know, I, I genuinely think he's gonna make a double. Not even a double, just a switch. I think he's gonna hard switch. I am going out into Roy this turn. Or, or do I wait a turn? No, he did it this turn last time. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna go out to Roy. I'm gonna go out to Roy. And he goes for Defog. So that's fine. Again, Nido King threatens his whole team. Um Mandibuzz call it a showdown set. Um, Ice Beam doesn't kill. But, um, it kills, well, it hurts the majority of his team, and I have Sludge Ray if he wants to, if he wants to put, need, um, Gramble in. It's 
thing is, I just I know I need to keep. Uh, ooh, oh, that almost died. Foul play. Not going to do much. I mean, it's going to do about. Actually, it's going to do like over fifty. Going to do like over fifty. But the thing is, I know that I have to keep. I know that I have to keep Miltank alive, because otherwise I can't beat the Latios. Otherwise, I cannot beat the Latios. Um. I just go for an ice beam, and we take out the bird. So Nida King kills Mandibuzz, and he just—I think he, go, he probably goes out to Mega Pidgeot actually. Now that he's defogged, I saw. I wished I went back out to Mill Tank, but I couldn't really give him a chance to roost up. To be honest, objection. Oh, that's Mega Pidgeot. Okay. Um, now, yeah, a hurricane is... Uh, I think a hurricane kills me. Um, I think a hurricane kills everything. <laughs> uh, we need to get rid of the mandibars. Hang on. There we go. Huh. Right, I'm just going to run some calcs quickly. Um, let's just check how much... Who takes a hurricane? I'm not sure anyone takes a hurricane. I'm not even sure Miltank takes a hurricane. No. Okay. So who is the most least expendable at this point? Honestly, I, I kind of need Nido King for the Gramble. Do I need Lolan Whack? Honestly, I'm not sure I do. Actually, yes, I think I do. I think I do. I'm just going to go for the Ice Beam. I'm going to sack Nido King off here. I'm going to sack Nido King. Um, and I'm just going to keep bluffing this scarf, man. I'm going to keep bluffing this scarf. And he just goes out to Gramble. He goes out to Gramble. And honestly... Mm, well, I have no, I have no special attackers now. This is a problem. This is what I should, I shouldn't have done this. I should have gone out to Alola Marowak. I should have gone out to Alola Marowak, sacked the Alola Marowak, then brought in Garchomp, and then doubled out to Nido King. That's what I should have done. That's what I should have done, honestly. He does withdraw. Um, he goes out into Courage. Uh, I need to get rid, rid of Nido King on my layout. Um. The issue is that his, his fucking Gramble is still so healthy. <laughs> it's still so healthy. Oh, I got rid of the wrong one. Whoops. Sorry, guys. Oh, his Gramble is still so so healthy. Well, I just go out to the other guy. I just go out to the other guy. Does he double? He doubles. Because he knew he knew that I couldn't stay in. He had that, so that was smart from him. Honestly, that was smart from him. Um. Right. Okay. So, Mill Tank. What are you saying? What are you saying? Oh, level fifty. Hurricane, oh my god. <laughs> Hurricane does 64 to 76, and Ice Punch does 36 to 44. No, I'm going to Thunder Wave. I'm going to Thunder Wave. That did a lot. Oh no, no, don't fucking do this to me. Don't fucking do this to me.
Fuck this game. 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 I'm making a hard double. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. I'm making a hard double. Fuck this game. I made a hard double. I'm not even... Am I even at minus one? I'm not even at minus one. I'm going flare bits. Fuck this game. <laughs> Fair enough. Still fuck this game though. Still fuck this game. Absolutely fuck this game. Because if I land that Thunder Wave... Um... If I landed that Thunder Wave, then I'm pretty sure I outspeed this, and I just win. I just fucking win. But instead I don't. Instead I don't. I've been bluffing the Scarf the whole game, he's going to see that I'm not Scarfed here. Um, pretty sure I can just go for an Outrage. He probably thinks he's... He, honestly, he probably thinks... Um, he probably thinks that he, he's lost. He probably thinks that he's lost. But he... <laughs> but, um, yeah, he outspeeds me. Fuck this. Fuck this. Fuck this. I'm not even... I'm not even... Nah, right. Fuck me. Fuck me. Fuck me. I'm not even gonna bother with the fucking sounds. Fuck this game. Fuck this game. I'm done. I'm done. I'm fucking done. Um... Uh, yeah, good game, Auto. Good game. Crack him. Um... Honestly, I won. <laughs> nah, I can't even... I can't be fucked. Um, yeah, good game. See you later, lads. Dan K memes. Like, sub, subscribe, all that shit. Fuck you all.